Registers in x86 architecture are small memory regions in the CPU that can store a value. These values generally range from 8 to 64 bits depending on the register size. Let's head into the CPU so you can truly understand registers. This is the AL register, which is the lowest 8 bits of the accumulator in Intel and AMD processors. It can store exactly one byte when using addition, subtraction, division, or multiplication processor instructions. The result of those operations gets stored in the accumulator register. Whilst 8 bits does not seem like a lot of memory, the AL register is only part of the accumulator register. Keep watching to see how it gets extended. Next we have the AH register. This register is next to the AL register just 8 bits to the left of it. The AH register is also a part of the accumulator and part of the result of a mathematical operation will get stored here. The AX register is essentially a pointer to the AH and AL registers allowing them to both be addressed as 16 bits. For example, if the AH and AL registers both hold hexadecimal FF, consuming their full 8 bits, and you set the AX register to 0, then both AH and AL will now equal 0 as any access to the AX register affects both the AH and AL registers. Likewise, if you read from the AX register, you read AH and AL together as a 16-bit value where the AH register would be the upper 8 bits and the AL registers would be the lower 8 bits. Together they are 16 bits wide. This x86 assembly instruction moves the hexadecimal value FFF4 into the AX register. The AH register will equal hexadecimal FF and the AL register will equal hexadecimal F4. This example demonstrates how writing a value to the AX register will directly affect the AH and AL registers. If you wish to modify the lower 8 bits of the AX register, you can use the same instruction except you would access the AL register instead of the AX register. This operation will then modify the AL register. However, you are limited to an 8-bit value only due to the 8-bit register size. The same applies for the AH register you can modify that register and it will affect the high 8 bits of the AX register. Don't click off the video as there's still plenty more to come, but please if you wouldn't mind subscribe, every subscription shows that we are making good content and will ensure you see our future videos. The accumulator doesn't stop at AX, it's extended all the way to 64 bits. To access the lower 16 bits of the EAX register, you refer to the AX register. The E in EAX signifies a 16-bit extension of AX, forming a 32-bit register in total. When you access EAX, you're accessing the full 32-bit value. The lower 16 bits are the original AX, and the upper 16 bits are the extension. In this example, AX starts from bit 0, the lowest most bit, and ends at bit 15, the highest most bit. From bit 16 onwards, we are accessing the lowest bit of the E of the EAX register. Similarly, the lower 32 bits of the RAX register are referred to as EAX, while the upper 32 bits form the extension, the R in RAX. Intel and AMD processors are designed to allow direct access to different parts of a 64-bit register through its sub-registers, such as EAX, AX, AH, and AL. For instance, AL represents the lowest 8 bits, AH the next 8 bits, and together AH and AL make up AX, which covers the lower 16 bits. EAX extends this further, representing the lower 32 bits of the full 64-bit RAX register. This hierarchical structure provides flexible and efficient access to specific portions of the register. There are many other general-purpose registers in Intel and AMD processors such as RBX, RCX and RDX all are able to store 64-bit values and are composed of sub-registers just like RAX. For example, you can access the lower 32 bits of the RCX register by accessing the ECX register. Likewise, if you want to access the lower 16 bits, you can access the CX register and the lower 16 bits compose of the CH and the CL registers. The same rule applies for all general purpose registers. They all compose of sub-registers and are all 64 bits wide. I hope you enjoyed this video on general purpose registers in AMD and Intel processors. 
There is a lot about Assembler that you can learn from us. Please subscribe to see more videos.